bubble car right but then don't go over there no it's raining it's storm it's storm driving no other ride at all breathing there Running, no. Where is it? Here you go. How run? I'm going to go to the vacuum. 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 Nothing. But I couldn't afford a nickel ferry boat ride. 
I've known you two whole months and I can't afford a present for you, a, a ring. Oh, I don't need a ring. At least a friendship ring. I'd only lose it. And this guy's flying over here, not tourists, oh no. Where'd you go last night? You go see the Pope. Tell him all for me. You went to that amateur night, didn't you? Shut up, she's inside. You went to the El Dorado Bar amateur night, didn't you? I spent two months building you up to be somebody and you throw it away on that triple. They talked all the way through it. Did you play them Where's the Devil and Evelyn? They talked and walked around <laughs> all through it. I wish I'd been there with you. You know what I would have said to them? <laughs> the first time I heard nasty jokes, I realized I was listening to a classic. I picked up old black magic and I could have danced all night as classics the minute I heard them. Where is the devil in Evelyn? <coughs> What's it doing in Angela's eyes? I didn't work in Macy's music department for Nick's. I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> that song is a classic. You print yourself a classic? They made me buy my own beers. Oh, pearls before swine. Chalk it up to experience. Yeah, the blackboard's getting kind of filled up. You know, I'm not a young talent anymore. <coughs> oh, smell the bread. Shut the window. It's freezing. You're letting all the dirt in. Miss <laughs> Henshaw is saving us this divine place right by the cemetery. So the Pope will have to slow down when he passes by. There's nothing worse than cold dirt. And when he passes by in his limousine, I'll call out, Your Holiness, marry us! The hell with peace to the world, bring peace to us. But you won't hear me because bands will be playing in the whole city yelling. But he'll see me because I've been eyed out by the best of them. And he'll nod at me and I'll grab your hands and yell, Marry us, Pope! And he'll wave his holy hands and the emeralds and rubies from his fingers will say, Yes, beams! <laughs> In a way, today's my wedding day. I should have something white at my throat. I, our whole life is beginning. My life, our life. We'll go out to California and Billy will help you. We'll get your songs and movies. Be out there with the big shots where you belong, not many bars on amateur nights. It's not too late to start with me behind you. Oh, in a couple of years' time, the El Dorado Bar will put up a huge neon sign flashing onto Queens Boulevard. In a couple of years' time, flashing, Audie Shaughnessy got started here, and nobody will believe him. Oh, Audie, tables turn. Bridges are for burning, and tables are for turning. I'll go see the Pope. Oh, I love you! No, I'll come here. You said you'll come. That's tantamount to a promise. I will. Tantamount, tantamount. I didn't work at a law office for nothing. I will sue you for breach. Sample right now. I am not that kind of girl. 
This woman does not understand. My kid is charmed. He gets greetings to go to basic training for Vietnam, and the Pope does something never done before. He flies out of Italy for the first time ever to stop the war. Ronnie will be home before you can say Jake Robinowitz. Yeah, Ronnie. What a kid. A charmed life. I can't leave the house today. My nails are all different lengths. Look, I cut this one just yesterday. Look how long it is already. But this one I cut just months ago, right to the quick. It hasn't moved that much. I don't understand that. I can't see the poke today. It's embarrassing. My nails are all different lengths. I can feel the rowing that connected to my veins and my, my heart. They're pulling me inside down with my fingers! They're pulling me inside down with my You know, the Pope gets one look at you standing on Queen's Boulevard, he'll make the biggest U-turn you ever saw right back to Rome. You know, I dreamed last night that Ronnie was the Pope. <laughs> yeah, and he came today, and all the streets were lined with everybody waiting to meet him. <laughs> and I felt like Joseph P. Kennedy, only bigger, uh, because the Pope is a bigger draw than any president. <laughs> and it was raining. Oh, it was raining everywhere, <laughs> but on him. And when he saw you and me on Queen's Boulevard, he stopped his glass limo and I stepped into the bubble, but you didn't. <laughs> he wouldn't take you. He would take me. No, your own son denied you. He, he slammed the door in your face and you had open-toed shoes on and the water ran into your heels and out the toes like two rent tin tents taking a leak. <laughs> and Ronnie and I, we, we drove off to the UN. The war in Vietnam stopped and he took me back to Rome and he canonized me. <laughs> He made me a saint of the church, and George would write all the hymns for the church. Oh, a hymn couldn't be played unless it was mine, and the whole congregation sang, Where is the devil in devil in? <laughs> Only they made it sound like monks singing it. <laughs> you weren't invited by the Annas. Ronnie loved only me. Oh, what a dream. It's, it's awful to have to wake up. Well, for my dreams, I need a passport and shots. I travel the whole world. I dreamed that once I made Abraham Lincoln. Did you like him? He was all right. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I dream? I dream I grow around the house all day crying because of the way my life turned out. When I do wake up, what do I do? I roam around the house all day crying because of the way my life turned out. The day that the Pope came to New York, the day the Pope came to New York, it really was comical, the Pope, for a young ago, the day that the Pope came to New York. Don't be disrespectful. Hey, hey, stay out of the kitchen. I'll get you food. Chop it up in small pieces. I 
just wanted to say hello, and I'm glad you all could come. I was very sick a few months ago, and he tried to slash my wrists with spoons. But I'm better now, and I'm glad to see people in the house. I couldn't go out, not yet. Hello?
And I walked under it to get out of the rain, but also because I had never seen a tree with blue leaves before. And I walked under it, and all the leaves flew away in one big round ball. <coughs> Just lifted up, leaving a bad tree. It was birds. Not blue leaves, but birds waiting to go to Florida or California. And all those birds, they flew to another tree a couple of hundred feet off, and that bad tree blossomed, snapped, just like that. You like the place, Bananas. I, I, I talked to the doctor. He had a mustache. You like mustaches. And the Blue Cross will handle a lot of it so we won't have to worry about expense. Well, you'll like the place. Oh, and a lot of famous people have had crackdowns there, so you'll be running in good company. <laughs> Shock treatments? No, no shock treatments. You swear? If she needs them, she'll get them. I'm handling this my way. I am sick of you kowtowing to her. Those poison fumes that come out of her head make me sick. Suffering. What does she know about suffering? Did you read in the paper about the bull in Madrid who fought so well they didn't let him die? They healed him. They let him rest before they put him back in the ring again and again and again. I don't like shock treatments, Father. At least in concentration camp. I was reading about them, Arnie. They, they put people in the ovens and they never let them out. It was shock treatments. They, they put you in the oven and then they pick you out. And then they put you in and then they pick you out. Did you read that issue of Modern Screen two months ago? I'm not usually an avid reader of film magazines, but the cover of this one reached right up and seduced my eyes at the health center. It was a picture like this. <laughs> and it was called Sandra D's Night of Hell. <laughs> Did you read that by any happenstance? Of course you didn't. You can't see anything. You're ignorant. Not me, but. Anyway, the story told of the night before Sandra D was to make her first picture. And her mother said to her, Sandra, do you have everything you need? And she said, snapped back real fresh like, leave me alone, mother. I'm a big girl now. I can take care of myself. And her mother said, all right, Sandra, but just remember, I'm always here. And she went into her room and closed the door. And Sandra could not find her hair curlers anywhere. But she was too proud to ask her mother where they were. Honey, I, I don't understand. Oh, shut up. I'm not finished yet. Well, she tore through the house, having to look her best for the set tomorrow, as it was her first picture. But they were <coughs> nowhere to be found. Finally, at 4 in the a.m., her best friend, Annette Finicello, the former masketeer, came over and took the hair colors out of her very own hair and gave them to Sandra. Thus ended her night of hell. She had learned a lesson. Suffering. You don't know anything about suffering. You're a nobody and you suffer like a nobody. I am taking Artie out of this environment and bringing him to California while Billy can still do him some good. Getting songs, his music into movies. Uh, I feel like I got about this much life left in me, Bananas. I gotta use it. These are my peak years. I gotta take this chance. You stay in your room, you're crying, all the time. Ronnie's gone now, this is not a creative atmosphere. Bananas, I'm not a young talent anymore. I never stopped you all these years. Be proud to admit it, Audie. You were afraid before I met you, admit it with pride. I was never afraid, what are you talking about? No man takes a job feeding animals in the Central Park Zoo unless he's afraid to deal with humans. I, I walk right into the cage, what are you saying? I got panthers licking out of my hands like pussycats. Then why don't you want to call Billy? I got family obligations. If he falls down, I'm not going to jump. You're afraid to call Billy and tell him what happened now. I'd like to jump right out in front of the Pope's car. Your panthers lay on their backs and I tickle their armpits and you call me afraid? <laughs> He'll take me in his arms and bless me. Call Billy now. It's the middle of the night. Oh, it's only two in the morning out there. Two in the morning is the middle of the night. In Hollywood? Oh, come off it. They're probably not even in yet. They're out there frigging and frigging and swinging and eating and dancing. Ever since Georgina died, he probably got a whole brace of new stars splashing in the pool. Yeah, well, I can't call him. He's probably not even in yet. I don't even think you know him. Don't know him? You've been giving me a lie. I'm your best friend, big Hollywood big shot. You don't even know him. 
best friends stay in best friends precisely because you don't go crawling over the middle of the night. You've been using, you've been dangling them over my head just to use me, to take advantage of me, just to get me in bed. Casting couches, I thought about them. That's not true. I'm real. I'm real. I'm real. I took work in a theatrical furniture store for nothing. If you can't call your best friends in the middle of the night, then who can you call? Me and a steam bag. You want me to get Billy on the phone? You stay out of this. He was always my much better friend than yours, eyes. Oh, your friend? Yeah. yeah, Billy and I only went to kindergarten together, grammar school together, high school together till his family moved away. Fate always kept an eye out to keep us friends. If you're ever in a jam, here I am. Friendship. <laughs> if you're ever up a tree, just follow me. See, Billy got stationed making training movies. And off each reel, there's what they call leaf. Undeveloped film. So he started snipping that leader off. So by the time we all got discharged, he had enough film spliced up to film 20 commandments. He made his movie right here on the streets of New York. And Mazzolini was making his pictures over in Italy. But only Billy was making them here in America. And better. He sold everything he had and he made conduct of life. And it's still playing in museums. It's playing at the Museum of Modern Art next week. And 20th Century Fox signed him, and MGM signed him, they both signed him to full contracts. The first person who's ever been signed by two studios at once. You only knew him about six months worth of bananas when he was making a picture. And everybody in that picture became a star, and Billy is still making great pictures. And would you ever forget that moment in his latest film, where Doris Day comes down the flight of stairs in her bathrobe and thinks that Rock Hudson is the plumber to fix her bathtub, and in reality he's an atomic scientist? I didn't see that. <coughs> Bananas doesn't go out of the house. Call him, Arnie. He gets up early to be on set. I don't want to wake him up. Within a few years, you could be out there waiting for that lady who we are gossiping to open the envelope and announce that the world holds its breath. And now, the winner of the Oscar for this year's best song goes to... Who is it? Who won? And now, Miss Mitzi Gaynor and Mr. Franco Corelli of the Metropolitan Opera will sing for you this year's winning song from the picture of the same title, made by his good friend and genius, Billy Einhorn. The winner is, of course, Arthur M. Shaughnessy! <laughs> Hello, operator? Yes, I want to place you call in, in Bel Air, in Los Angeles. You call the number? Oh, tattoo, baby, tattoo. Your heart and his telephone number right on my chest like a sailor. No, no, not you, operator, but you listen. I, I want, and fast, I want in Los Angeles, in Bel Air, GR2-4129. And I will not dial it, because I want to speak personally to my good friend and genius, Mr. Billy Einhorn. E-I-N. Well, don't you know how to spell it? The name of only Hollywood's leading director, my friend. And you better not give this number away to any of your friends and call him up and bother him asking him for screen tests. When I was an operator, they made us take oaths. I had Marlon Brando's number for years and pistols couldn't have dragged it out of me. They made you raise your right hand if- uh, my, my number is RA1-2276. And don't go giving that number away. And, and I want a good connection. One, hang on. We, we're traveling across the country right now. Hang on. You, you can hear the beep, beep, beeps. Ring, it's ringing! Oh, God, ring! Ring. Ring. Oh, it's a, it's a, hello? Billy? Y yes, operator, that's Billy, get off. <laughs> Will you get off? I, I should have called station to station. He picked it right up and everything. Ah, uh, Billy. Uh, this is uh, Ramon Navarro. <laughs> no, no, Billy, it's Audie Shaughnessy. Yeah, Audie. No, no, New York. Did I wake you up? Billy, can you hear me? Oh, Billy, hello? Oh, oh Billy, I, I gotta tell you something. Well, first of all, I gotta tell you how bad I feel about Georgina dying. Oh, well, the good die young, what can I say? And second, since you, you old bum, never come back to your old stomping grounds, your happy hunting grounds, I'm thinking of coming out to see you. I know you can fix up a tour of the studios and that'd be great. And you can get us hotel reservations. Oh, that's just fine, but, um, Billy, I, uh, I'm thinking I gotta get away. Not, not just a vacation, but, um, yeah, make, make a change, get a break, if you know what I'm getting at. Oh, Bananas, Bananas is fine. She's, she's here. <coughs> well, we were just thinking about you. Uh, no, no, Billy, it's not fine. Billy, this sounds cool to say, but Bananas is as dead for me as Georgina is for you. 
Well, I'm in love with a remarkable, wonderful girl. Yeah, she's here too. <laughs> Who I should have married years ago. Yeah, well, we didn't know her years ago. Well, I only met her two months ago. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's kind of funny. This chimpanzee knocked me in the back and kinked my back out of whack. So I went to this health club to work it out, right? And in the steam section with all the steam, I got lost. And I walked into this steam room and there was Bunny. Yeah, just towels. I mean, you can make a movie out of this. It was so romantic. Well, she couldn't see me. And she starts talking about all the weight she has to take off and all the food she has to give up. And she starts talking about duckling with orange sauce and oysters baked with spinach and shrimps baked in the juice of melted sturgeon eyes, which caviar comes from. And, well, you, you know me in food. And I got so excited, the steam's getting thicker and thicker when I ripped off my towel and kind of jumped her. Yeah. Oh she, was, oh, she was quiet for a very long time. And then, Billy, she said one of the greatest lines of all time. She said, there's the man in here. <laughs> and I know she was in her sheet like a toga, and I was all poking up, and I swear, Billy, we were gods and goddesses, and the steam bubbled up and swirled, and it was Mount Olympus. Oh, I'm a new man, Billy, a new man. And I gotta make a stop before it's too late. And I'm calling you, crawling on my hands and knees. No, no, not like that. Uh, I'm standing up straight and talking to my best buddy in the whole world and saying, can I come out and see you and bring Bunny and talk over old times? Oh, I'll pay my own way. I'm not asking you for nothing. Uh, just, just your friendship. Oh, I think about you so much. And I read about you in columns. And Conduct of Life is playing at the Museum of Modern Art next week. And, well, I get nervous calling you. And... Oh, yeah, and, and that Doris Day pick? <laughs> well, Bunny and I fell out of our low seats. No, no, Bananas couldn't see it. She, uh, she don't get out of the house much. Well, I get nervous calling you because, well, you know, uh, I'm not asking for any old lady's eye treatment or anything, but it must be kind of lonely with Georgina gone, and, and the three of us, and uh, one of you and me, we can have some laughs. Well, what do you say? Well, well, will you write and let me know your schedule, and we can come anytime, but, but soon, okay, buddy? Soon? No, 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 this is my telephone call, I'm paying for this call so you don't have to worry. <coughs> Well, talking to you, I think I'll open up. Uh, are you still drinking rye? Ooh, Jack Daniels. Well, set out the glasses, open the bottle. No, no, we'll bring the bottle. All right, Billy. We'll talk to you soon. Good night. And uh, remember, remember soon, okay? Okay, soon. Bye. Bye-bye. Ah! The Dana! The puppy to New York! The Dana! The puppy to New York! It was really comical, the book for a The Dana!
gone into your nightgown and your bare feet. The corns of your bare feet were slippers. And it's snowing out. Snowing a blizzard, and you're out in it. 24 hours you're gone. And the police are up here, and you're being broadcasted for in 13 states, all covered with snow. And I look out that window, and I see a, a gray smudge in a nightgown standing on the edge of a roof over there in a snowbank. And I'm praying to God, and I, I run out of this place and across the street. Troubles all began a year ago. Two years ago today. Two days ago today? Today. We used to have this beautiful old green Buick. The green latrine. <laughs> I'm not allowed to drive it anymore, but when I could drive it for the last time, I drove it. I drove it to Manhattan. And I drive down Broadway to the four corners of the world. I see a scene you wouldn't see in your wildest dreams. 42nd Street, Broadway, four corners, four people, one on each corner, all waiting for taxis. Cardinal Spellman, Jackie Kennedy, Bob Hope, and President Johnson, all carrying suitcases. Taxi! Taxi! So I stop in the middle of the street, the middle of Broadway, and I get out of the green latrine and yell, Get in! I'm a gypsy! I'm a gypsy cab! Get in! Get in! I'll take you where you want to go! Don't you all know each other? Get in! Get in! And I keep waiting for cabs. So I run over to President Johnson, I grab him by the arm, Get in! And I pull Jackie Kennedy and into my car, and John John, who I didn't see, starts crying. And Jackie hits me, so I hit her. <laughs> and I grab Bob Hope and pull Cardinal Spellman into the back seat, crying and laughing. I'll take you where you want to go. Just give me your suitcases and get in. And the suitcases spill open, and Jackie Kennedy's wings blow down 42nd Street. <laughs> and Cardinal Spellman hits me. And Johnson screams, so I hit him. I hit them all. <laughs> And then the green latrine blew four flat tires and sinks. So I run to protect the car, and four cabs appear, and my friends all get into four different cabs. And the cars are honking at me to move, so I push the car over the bridge back to Queens. Audie's asleep, and I turn on Johnny Carson just to get my mind off. And there's Cardinal Spellman and Bob Hope, whose nose is still bleeding. And they tell the story of what happened to them. And everybody laughs. Thirty million people watch Johnny Carson and laugh. I'm 
I knew all those people better than me, Ronnie and Audie. I knew everything about them. Why can't they love me? And then it began to snow. Come see the Pope. Pray. <coughs> He'll bless you. R R Rita's Digest has an article this month on how prayer answers things. Pray. Kneel down in the street. The Pope can cure you. No, the, Re the Rita's Digest don't afford the crap around. The nails are all different lengths. Everybody's laughing. We used to have fun. Sometimes I miss you. So much. If, if I put gloves on my hands, the, the, the boat must be landing now. I, I'm going to turn on the television. I, I want you to see him. <coughs> oh, there he is. He's getting off the plane. Look, Bananas. Look at the screen. Oh, God, help Bananas. Please, please, God. Say a prayer, Bananas. Say, make me better, God. Make me better, God. So, so, so Artie can go away in peace. Oh, there he is. Get out of the way. Get out of the way by the sick woman city. There's the Pope, Bananas. There he is. There he is. Kiss him. Kiss his hand, Bananas. He'll cure you. Kiss him. The screen's cold. Oh, get out of the way, you damn newsman. Oh, please, your holiness. Please help me.
to tell you about me? <coughs> oh, Ronnie, charmed life, how great I am? That's how he is with you. You should hear with me. You've seen a different tune pretty quick, and it wouldn't be where is the devil in Evelyn. I was 12 years old, and all the newspapers had headlines on my 12th birthday that Billy was coming to town. And life was doing stories on him, and look, and newsreels, because Billy was searching America to find the ideal American boy to play Huckleberry Finn. And Billy came to New York. He called my father and asked him if he could stay here. Billy needed a hideout. The wall of story is all over the country. Chambermaids would wheel silver carts to change the sheets. And out of the sheets would hop a little boy saying, Hello, I'm Huckleberry Finn! <laughs> all over the country, little boys dressed up in blue jeans and straw hats would be sent to him in crates. Be under the silver carts <coughs> during his dinner, in the medicine cabinets, and all his hotel rooms. In his suitcase, just The ideal American boy. <laughs> Coming home, all the shop windows reflected me. In the mirror in the tailor shop said, Hello, Huck! The butcher shop window said, Hello, Huck. <laughs> Hello. Huckleberry <laughs> <laughs> Finn. All of America wants to meet Billy. You know, behind that in your house. Well, I came home, went in there into my room, and packed my bag. I knew Billy would see me and take me back to California with him that very day. This room, the smell of ammonia and air freshness, and these slipcovers were new that day. And my parents were filling the icebox in their brand new clothes, filling the icebox with food and liquor, as excited as if the Pope were coming, but nervous because they hadn't seen him in a long while. Billy, they told me my new clothes were on my bed. Get to rest. I didn't want to tell them that I'd be leaving shortly to start a new life. That I'd be flying out to California with Billy on the HMS Huckleberry. I didn't want their tears. Only trails of envy. I packed up my bag and I waited by the door. The doorbell rang. If you listen close, you can still hear the echoes of those handshakes and wet kisses and tears and backs getting in. Hello, Billies, hello. They sat for a long time and talked about people from their past. Finally, my father called out, Ronnie, guess who? Billy, we named him after your father. Ronnie, guess who? I picked up my bag and said goodbye to myself in the mirror. Came out. Billy there. Smiling. It suddenly dawned on me. You have to do things to get parts. I began dancing. And singing, hello my baby, hello my honey, hello my ragtop gal. Things I've never done it before in my life. Before or since I stood on my head, skipped in the world, spectacular leaps in the air so I could see veins in the ceiling. I ran up the and down the keys of the piano and began laughing and crying soft and loud. Ha <laughs> 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 To show off all of my emotions, I heard music and drums that I couldn't even keep up with. And then I just cut off all of my emotions just like that. And 
silly. He took a deep bow, like the dying swan I saw on Ed Sullivan. <laughs>
Don't tell. Please, I don't want them to know that I'm deaf. I don't want them to think that Billy's going around with some deaf girl. There was an accident on the set, a set of Billy's. I can hear with my transistors, but I want them to get to know me first, so don't tell. Please.
imported, but no, you have got to see everything in the flesh. You are the one who dropped the binaculars. Well, you're the one who stole them. Audie, could you bring work home from the office? They're not as bananas, nuts. We got locked out on the other <coughs> side. Bye. Bye. This is Corinna Stroller, Billy's girlfriend. The Corinna, this is bananas. Corinna Stroller? The movie star? Hello, Billy's girlfriend. Oh, God. Billy's girlfriends always make me feel so shy. Audie believes in keeping the skeletons out in the open. Like the tents. I saw the sound of music 31 times. It changed my entire life. Unitarian! I'm sorry, but you're looking at a woman who has had it. I'm just saying your song sounds an awful lot like white. 
and they can sing my song in the summertime. Who are you calling? Do it, Artie. Artie, who are you calling? Have you got a little suitcase? I'll start your packing. Billy's right. <laughs> Help me. Billy wouldn't want them to do this, not to me. He'd be mad. Help me. Bluebirds, he'll tell you all about it and me walking on the roof. Can't you say anything? You want fries?
Time Magazine interviews tonight. I won't even mention you. I'll say I was an orphan. Hey, Bonnie, why didn't you write and let me know when you were coming? I might have been in California. It's great to see you. Oh, wait a minute. The Pope's Mass at Yankee Stadium. I have two tickets to the Pope's Mass at Yankee Stadium. Does anybody want them?
think she would? Oh, <laughs> together, boy, cry. Get it all out. She wanted her footprints at Roman's Chinese. I'm going to have her shoes set at what cement, a ceremony, a tribute. Oh, God, she'd hate it. Hate it? Ever since the years went, she lost the push. Like she couldn't hit a different drum anymore. Drumming up the push to get her to the top. She just stopped. Boy, she could have been one of the big ones, huh? A lady big stardust, just handfuls of it all over. Her. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm sorry. All right. Easy, Billy. Easy. Easy. <laughs> Bill, okay, not Bill, it's not. Okay, oh, okay. 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 <laughs> Do you have any tea bags? Oh, you want a drink? Uh, I got the bourbon here, the Jack Daniels. Oh, tea bags. Two. One for each eye. <laughs> Coming right up. Could you wet them? <laughs> <laughs> My future's all ashes, honey. In the morning, I'll fly back with Corinna's body. <coughs> back to LA, and I'll stay there. I can't work. Not for a long, long time, anyway. If ever again. I was supposed to go to Australia. <coughs> ashes. Oh. God, it's good to see you again, Artie. <laughs> Billy, you can't. Hey, Billy, you owe it. The world, Bunny and me, we, we fell out of our low seats. I'd be crazy if it wasn't for the laughs, for the romance that you bring. You can't let this death stand in the way. Look what's happened to your old buddy. I'll become this dreaming boy. I'll make all these Fatimas out of the future. Lords and Fatima, all these shrines out of the future, and I keep crawling to them. Don't let that happen to you. Health. Health. You should make a musical. Hey. Hey, boy. Listen to this, huh? Georgina have great taste. I used to read Vogue on the newsstands to see what I'd be wearing in three years. Georgina took the dress right off her back and gave it to you. What a woman she was. I put it on to make you happy, Bill. <laughs> oh, easy, Billy, easy. Shame it's 1965. I'm like the best dressed woman in 1954. <laughs> 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 You're the best of them, Marty. Hello, bananas. Sometimes I curse you for giving me that name. A little Italian girl? What else am I going to call her? Mr. Shaughnessy, quick! The bathtub, the shower, the hot water steaming and running over. I can't turn it off. There's nothing to turn. <laughs> I did it to burn her. Burn who? Burn her downstairs. Had the hot water run through the ceiling so it gives the blisters. He won't like it so much if she's covered in blisters. Hot water can do that. It's one of the nicest colors. It's a hot water. <laughs> Burn who? Kate Smith. Wrench! Wrench! True, I I Boy, don't seem possible, you know. All started 20 years ago, right on this block. Hey, boy, didn't we have some times, huh? The Rainbow Room, Leon and Eddie's. Look, I got the picture right here. <laughs> We are on the Eddie's. Yeah, yeah, the village barn. The village barn? Oh, God, I love the village barn. It's closed, Bananas. Finished. Like you. Mr. Shaughnessy, please. Duh. Mr. Einhorn? Hello. <laughs> I was an usher before I went in, and your name always meant quality. Why, thank you. I can move. 
remember feeling, you see? In this apartment. You see right here, I, I stand in this corner and I remember laughing so hard. Doubled up on something Ronnie did or Artie said. And right here is where I used to iron. When I could iron, I'd iron right here. And even then, buttons stay down. A button down shirt can make me sob. Cry. And at that show, I stand right here and I mix me a Ryan ginger pick me up. And then I watch the lights go on in the Empire State Building. I feel so tender, so. I'm protected. I don't mind not feeling so long as I can be in a place I remember feeling. You get me? You get me? Ronnie's in jail. I don't mind the bars, but he can't take them. He's not strong like his mom. Come closer to me. Don't let them get. Oh. <laughs> you kept your mustache. <laughs> Nothing's changed. <laughs> Should I Where is it? <laughs> Billy, you see the wall and climb.
Ronnie will be all right. But we'll have him stationed in Rome with NATO for some two weeks in the break just to clear his record. And then off to Rome? Well, won't that be interesting and educational? Thank you, Billy. Thank you. <coughs> Ronnie's lucky. Box said everyone at Dix is scheduled for Vietnam. Oh, I wouldn't mind that. I love Chinese food. <laughs> <laughs> That's the little girl from the steam bag. Hi, I'm Buddy from right downstairs. <coughs> Audie, perhaps our grief-stricken visitor from Movie Land would join us for a little snack a la petite. No, no. Oh, come on, Bill. Flying in on such short notice, you must have all the starving people of Armenia and your tum-tum begging, feed me, feed me. Well, just a bite. See what they do is make a scrap of everything that she can cook and then they paste it in his book. A veal parmesan. See, what we do is we make a scrapbook of all the food she knows how to cook and then we paste it here in this book.
Tell them I'll call them back. Wait, what are they calling us late for? Everything's having a baby. The animals are giving birth. The, the stomach, the manatees, the unicorns, the snakes, and the Hello? Hello? Who is this? Yeah, oh, Al, okay, Al, listen. Here's what you have to do. Heat the water and then lock the male elephants out. They get testy. And the leopardess tends to eat her children. Just watch her carefully, young. The Pope saw my wish today. He looked me right in the eye and winked. We're finally alone for the first time in our life. 
It's taken 18 years for us to get from the church to the hotel room. And we're finally alone. I promise you I'll be good to you. I'll be different. I promise you. Hello, Audie.
I'm here with Belgium.